speaking to Channel 5 News Ms. Bond claimed Prince Andrew is hiding behind the Queen's tartan skirt up in Balmoral as lawyers for accuser Virginia Giuffre attempt to serve papers to the Duke. In a scathing attack, Ms. Bond also branded the Duke claiming he was evading attempts to serve him papers at the 50,000-acre royal estate. It comes as lawyers for Virginia Giuffre, who accuses the Prince of battery by sexual assault and intentional infliction of emotional distress, have repeatedly failed in their attempts to serve Prince Andrew court papers. The Duke of York, 61, has vehemently denied all the allegations put forward by Ms. Giuffre. Ms. Bond claimed however much Prince Andrew denies these allegations I do think this is squeaky bum time for the Prince. She also speculated that she did not think the Queen was in an enviable position at all following the saga. Ms. Bond went on to suggest, I think it is very embarrassing for her to have her 61-year-old son essentially hiding behind her tartan skirt up there in Balmoral. And in a final stern claim, the royal expert added, 50,000 acres to roam in and to have his shooting parties and yet essentially been trying to evade people who are trying to serve papers on him. The comments come as, in documents filed to the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York on Friday, lawyers for Virginia Giuffre states there was a first attempt to serve the papers to the Duke on August 26. It says within 21 days of the summons the plaintiff must be served an answer to the complaint, and if you fail to respond, judgment by default will be entered against you for the relief demanded in the complaint. But when an agent went to Windsor Great Park, they were turned away by a Metropolitan Police officer serving as head of security. They have since repeatedly failed to serve papers to the Duke, a spokesperson for London's High Court said the issue about how claims could be served on parties in different jurisdictions was governed by the Hague Service Convention, which requires requests to be made and approved by the relevant authority in each country. They said, the lawyers acting for Ms. Giuffre have now provided further information to the High Court, and the High Court has accepted the request for service under the Hague Service Convention. The legal process has not yet been served but the High Court will now take steps to serve under the convention unless service is arranged by agreement between the parties. Lawyers for Ms. Giuffre filed the civil suit citing allegations of battery by sexual assault and intentional infliction of emotional distress against the Duke. The Duke's lawyer called Ms. Giuffre's latest claim, baseless, and potentially unlawful. While on Wednesday the High Court accepted Virginia Giuffre's request to formally contact the Duke over the alleged sexual assault case, Buckingham Palace previously released a statement to say, the Duke of York unequivocally regrets his ill-judged association with Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein's suicide left many unanswered questions, particularly for his victims. The Duke deeply sympathizes with those affected who want some form of closure. It is his hope that, in time, they will be able to rebuild their lives. The Duke is willing to help any appropriate law enforcement agency with their investigations if required. The Duke has already stated that he did not see, witness, or suspect any behavior of the sort that subsequently led to Jeffrey Epstein's arrest and conviction. He deplores the exploitation of any human being and would not condone, participate in, or encourage any such behavior.